Some say this is the hardest problem on the 2023 AMC8. Let's see how we can tackle it. In a sequence of positive integers, each term after the second is the product of the previous two terms. The sixth term in the sequence is 4,000. What is the fourth term? So we've, we've got a sequence, four, five, six terms. The sixth term is 4,000. And we've got this kind of unique condition. If you've heard of arithmetic and geometric before, this is nothing like it. Each term after the second is the product of the previous two terms. Cool. So 4,000 will be, will be the product of these two terms, whatever they might be. Okay, and then we must have that this number, we also must have that this number is the product of these two terms. And this number is the product of these two terms. And this number is the product of these two terms, right? Because each number after the second is just the product of the previous two terms. But this is a little tricky here because we've got a few possibilities. Now, this is the real trick of the problem here. Let's say B was fixed. Let's say the problem gave us the value of B. Let's say they told us it was, I don't know, a thousand. If they told us this, then notice that because we have this number and this number, and we know that the product of two terms will be equal to the next term, we would have that 1000A, we would have that 1000A is equal to 4000. So A would be four. And similarly, with these two terms, we could then, with these two terms, we could then find the value of this term by letting this be some variable and then saying 4b is 1000. And then we can keep doing that to get all the terms. So that's the key idea here, is that once you discover the value of this term, all the other values of the sequence are fixed. But the thing is, this problem was not nice enough to give us the value of the term over here. So we have to look at the possibilities ourselves. Okay, let's, let's see how we can try and do this. So let's say the first term is A and the second term is B. Then this term will be AB, right? A times B. Then this term will be AB times B, which is AB squared. And then this term will be AB times AB squared, which is A squared B cubed. And then 4,000, we would have that AB squared times A squared B cubed is 4,000. Cool, because the product of these two terms must be 4,000. And another key condition here, it's a sequence of positive integers. So maybe we'll be using that somewhere. So this implies that a cubed b to the 5 is 4,000. Okay, but notice that it's a sequence of positive integers. So a and b have to be integers. So how should we do this? Hmm. Well, the trick here is prime factorization. So notice that so far, the key idea was we don't know these terms and we don't know the value of this term. But if we just assign them to be variables, we can get the entire sequence in terms of a and b and get this equation here. So in these types of problems, it's always a good idea if you have some unknowns, just assign them to be variables and then see what conditions you can get based on that. In this case, we got this condition. And now you might be wondering, two variables, one equation. How in the world are we going to solve that? Well, the key thing is integers. And if you watch my video on Diophantine equations, you know that the trick here is to use the integer condition somehow. And in this case, a and b are integers. They must have, this whole thing must divide 4,000. So to do this, let's explore the prime factorization of 4,000. Maybe that will give us a hint on what a and b have to be. So 4,000 is two squared, four, times 1,000, which is two cubed, five cubed, which is two to the five times five cubed. a and b, hmm, this seems oddly peculiar, doesn't it? 2 to the 5, 5 to the 3. b to the 5, a to the, to the 3. Now, you probably can see that b equals 2 and a equals 5. Does that work? Well, let's try and plug it in. If b equals 2 and a equals 5, 
then this will be 5, 2. And then that will make this term 10. And that will, that will make this term 20, which will make this term 200. And then 200 times 20 is 4,000. Aha! So this does work. But are there any other possibilities? Let's just verify just to make sure. Well, notice that b has to be a fifth power. The only fifth power that divides 4,000 is 2, or, well, 1, of course, also. So we already explored that the 2 case works. Now, if b equals 1, we would have that a cubed it times 1 times 1 to the 5 is 2 to the 5 times 5 to the 3. But notice that now, because 1 to the 5 is just 1, a cubed, this over here is not a perfect cubed, so a cannot be an integer. So therefore, we know that the only possibility happens when b equals 2, a equals 5. And this does work, so the first term is just a, or 5. And that is our answer for this problem, 5. Thanks for watching.